So what I'm doing now is I'm going to trace through the the drawing and the tracing paper onto my wooden base below and then get the marks for location for when I cut out the wooden block and glue it onto the baseboard. So I've got to trace all around the outside so that I have a, a location point for the cutout board. So all of the the drawings have got to have this, even the little bits uh, need to be located for the original drawing so that we get a little mark onto the baseboard. And then it will all be as the original drawing was done. So here is uh, the special wood that I carve. It's very thin and um, it's a wood called lime uh, and then we have to uh, place the drawing over the piece of wood that I'm going to carve and trace all these tiny little lines which are going to be the markers that I carve up to and copy the shapes that are in the drawing. So some of them are very, very delicate and very, very minute. And sometimes the uh, details like the hair, they'll be brought out in the actual base board that we drew onto earlier. So I'm, I'm, I've copied some of this out and there you can see it underneath and on the wood there. And then from this, I go to the saw that uh, cuts out the delicate little pieces and we end up with the little piece of uh, wood that I then glue onto the baseboard and um, so that's how the um, the character is in initially portrayed and then uh, the carving then goes from there and get into the, the details and round off a lot of the edges and give you things like the little fingernails, the fingers, the little hairs and the eye on the dog and uh, in this character, his rough clothes and the little crack in his glasses. We'll try and bring out all of those little details that are in the drawing. So, and then you've seen the jigsaw before and it gets all the little small details. And that's how we cut out the, the little bits. And then that's rubbish, goes on the fire, and then we'll do on, go on around cutting out until it's all cut out and then I can glue it on the back wall. So I'm just starting on Mr Stink and Chloe Crumb and uh, I'm just going to do the first cuts along the drawn lines to demark where I'm going to cut up to and round off. The edges. Mr. Stink is quite difficult because he is very messy with his clothes and lots of little bits and pieces and I've got to give the impression of Mr. Stink so that's going to be quite difficult. There's lots of little bits like all the fingers here which will be quite tricky so I've got to go around the edge and then I'll then shape them in. It all takes a long time so I can only just show you the little bits of beginnings. You have to go slowly with wood carving because you don't want to take away pieces of wood that you might want to have there in the future so you've got to think slowly. You can glue bits back on again but it's not so so easy. So I've done a bit more work now on Mr Stink and Chloe Crumb and I'm just working on her clothes and um, just shaving off some of the wood to round off around her tummy here and with very sharp chisels just going down there and then cutting along her arm here a bit so that you'll be able to feel that 
And there's lots of work to be done because we've got all of the fingers to do and her skirt and her face. And those are the details that take a long, long time to do because they're so small and minute. There we go. Very. There's lots of work. And then after I finish carving, then I do some sandpapering as well to smooth it all off. And then it's all polished, polished up and then put a bit of beeswax onto the whole thing, which then gives it a good... Uh, re release because it goes into the machine for printing so that we do lots of copies this is the, what's called the master so then when the master's been done then copies can be made and those are the what you end up feeling in the packs now I'm doing a bit more finishing of Mr Stink and Chloe and I'm just going to sand off and then I'll put the final creases in his clothes and the, all the tiny little details he's been quite a lot of work there's his, his uh, stick so it's nice and knobbly and there's Chloe's trousers I just polished them up now I'm just finishing Mr Stink and Chloe Crumb so I've sandpapered up the um, the little figures I put the nails in the in the eyes you can feel it there you can feel the little bits of hair on the background there, lots of little details, and there's uh, <coughs> Mr. Stink, and his button there, and there's his bow, and his belt around him, and there's his little dog in his eyes there, and little hairs on his head, and his eyes, little nail points for his eyes, there's his glasses, tiny little details, and you can feel his mouth in there, get his finger in there, and his ears, and then he's got his rough, rough clothes, and stinky clothes, and there's his walking stick. And then one little polish, finish it up. And there we are, it's all done.